It's obviously a lot more focused on gold these days. Agnico itself has been quite busy beyond production, recently doing that deal with Kirkland. And like any company out there dealing with the ramifications of higher costs, let's get some perspective on what's happening with the business now from Amaro Jundi, who is the new CEO. Uh, he's also the president of Agnico Eagle. Thanks very much for being with us. Um, what would you say was sort of the key to this quarter? We mentioned that the numbers beat analyst expectations. Well, I think that's a large part of it, John. We had a very strong quarter. We had a strong quarter on a production basis. We also had a strong quarter on a cost basis. And I think, I think frankly, there's a lot of relief in the in the uh, market uh, when uh, companies these days can deliver on uh, the revenue side, but also control the cost side, which our team has done, frankly, exceptionally well. Well, what goes into that? Like, what are those what are those key considerations when it's when when you're looking to the bottom line? Well, you know, it's it's a number of things. One, uh, the team did do a good job getting ahead of this. Um, you know, we've had a view for a while now that inflation was not going to be transitory, and and I think that's uh, uh, proving out. So we did get ahead of it a little bit. Uh, and part of it was just, you know, good old fashioned efficient operations, which also help in the costs. Yeah. And I, uh, I wonder, too, as we go into sort of a, uh, an interesting environment going forward, I know you were fielding some questions on your conference call about your asset mix. Um, you guys have this big deal you've done with Kirkland as well. Um, you're still putting the pieces together. Is that sort of a fair characterization of, of what you want to be focused on and, and what maybe you'll make some decisions on down the road? Well, you know, I, uh, we talked about this on the call, and I would say we had a strong operational quarter, but the integration has gone exceptionally well. We are, uh, you know, 90% of the way there. The top management team is in place. Everybody's working well together. Uh, we're all focused on the value drivers. And to your point, John, we, we, we have a pretty good view on what those key value drivers are. We have some exceptional mines. We have the two largest gold mines in Canada. Uh, with uh, Detour and Malartic, um, both of those mines, you know, they're two of the 10 biggest mines in the world. Uh, both of those mines have a, a great multi-decade future in uh, the most prospective and probably safest gold jurisdiction in the world. We have a lot of other mines um, that we're investing in that have a long future. So I would say, um, actually, we have a pretty good idea of, of uh, what we've got and what we want to do, and I, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, and then on the gold price itself, this has been this has been a, a complicated one for investors because you hear the word inflation and you might just think, okay, gold prices go up. It's been a little bit more complicated than that. I know in the markets there are a lot of moving parts, and in, including currency considerations. But what's your outlook for the price of gold? Well, let's get back to you know, inflation is not transitory. This is going to be in place for a while, and. Um, Look, I got into this business in 1999 at, uh, I think gold price was $265. And, and uh, you know, it goes up, it goes down, but the trend has been there. And what I would say, John, is um, gold is a currency. Uh, gold is a hard asset. And all hard assets, whether it's real estate or whether it's equities, uh, they have gone up. And gold has gone up and the trend is still in place. You are going to get volatility. Uh, so. You know, where's gold going to be in a month? I don't know, but I'm very confident that in three years or five years, it's going to be well above uh, where it is and probably, frankly, probably in six months. Mm. All right. We're going to be watching closely, Mar. Thanks very much for your perspective. As always, Amar Al Jundi, the president and CEO of Agnico Eagle, joining us. We mentioned that stock has been a strong performer today.